and welcome back to Otaku no Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me for a video digging deeper into Black Rock Shooter, the OVA released quite a while ago, a few months ago now. And I'm making this video primarily because when I watched it and looked at some of the reviews, the reviews were almost universally negative. Folks really didn't like Black Rock Shooter. I was surprised. Um, so this video is kind of in defense of Black Rock Shooter and some of these complaints that I've seen. Um, one of the big ones being the fact that uh, folks didn't care about the junior high school story. Before I get to that, though, I should point out, I, I do know that the makers of Black Rock Shooter, the, the animation, have stated that they, that they want to do a sequel. Um, that said, Black Rock Shooter was pretty well presented as a single standalone work. So I'm going to, I'm going to approach it that way, and that is certainly how folks approach it when it first came out. So sequel or no, we're going to kind of assume that it is a self-contained work. Uh, so folks didn't really care for the, high, the, the junior high school story. Now, on the one hand, you are perfectly free to like or dislike anything you want. On the other hand, a lot of these reviews got into more of the, this was just bad. <clears throat> if you take the junior high school story by itself and just look at it as a story in and of itself, it works pretty darn well. It tells the story of a friendship and how how those relationships change over time and how you know one event changes this and changes this and changes this and how relationships change over time which is done primarily through facial expression and visuals not through dialogue that's pretty impressive i think if this had been the first episode of a tv series folks would have been pretty darned impressed that they were accomplishing this much with minimal dialogue kind of reminds me of wandering sun and how it works so and taken standalone i think honestly the junior high school girl Stuff really, really works. On the other side of the fence were those who complained that the action didn't really go anywhere and was kind of ungrounded. Now, this is the one complaint that I am more likely to agree with. I like my action to be grounded and to be based on, you know, character. There have to be reasons for characters to be in conflict. That said, uh, when I was watching Black Rock Shooter, it was pretty clear to me that there was more to this fight sequence than just two girls bashing away at each other from their expressions and their body language and so forth. Again, I, I was pretty clear there was more going on. Even beyond that, if nothing else, we get 20 minutes of beautifully animated stylistic action out of this. I think that's a pretty small price to pay, and I'm willing to sit through some slightly ungrounded, un, you know, non-described action for that. That's fine. More of that, please, frankly. Now, you also had some folks complaining that it took too long to connect the two worlds. This is the one that I do not get. Um, by leaving this question unanswered, this allows the viewer to create some theories, think up some possibilities, and test it against what's on screen. It lets us spend some time while we're watching it thinking, well, maybe that's it. Well, let, let's see how they're, they're behaving. Let's see what, what, what's going on there. It gives us more to process over the course of the story. And I think it's a very good thing. If they had told us halfway through, well then, uh, okay, there's not much more going on there. Um, so I think that that's a perfectly valid thing. The other thing, too, is realizing it's not like they, they were dangling this out as an unanswered mystery for... 26 episodes? It's only a you know, single self-contained OVA episode. It's not that big of a deal. Now, speaking of, of the ending, folks complained that the ending was too abrupt. Granted, the ending does end quickly, or the anime does end quickly. But going back and looking at it, I'm not... I can't find much that I would want to add to that. It's kind of explained there. It, it's abstract. It isn't handed to you on a silver platter. There's not a character who's, who walks forward and explains to you for five minutes what all has been going on. But it's all pretty much there. Um, I would have liked to have seen an explanation, or at least a, like a shot, of how the other girl crossed over, you know. But still, it's all there. And, again, I think it works. It is quick, but I don't think it's quick at the expense of information that needs to be communicated to the audience. And again, I go back and think, what more would you add? What extra scene needs to be added to that 
that would make it feel better and that would communicate you know, stuff that you need to know. Because here's the thing, in my mind, Black Rock, Black Rock Shooter is a music video. It relies and functions on mood, visuals, emotion, that kind of stuff, not plot. And that's not a complaint, that's just how music videos are structured. They're not meant to be, have complex stories in them. They're meant to have an impact based on their visuals and based on just the mood they are creating. And Black Rock Shooter very much does so using two completely different strands, which it then connects up at some point. I'm impressed. You know, this is, this is not easy, folks. And that's part of my frustration with all of these complaints is that no one seems to be appreciating the fact that we get art out of this. This is, the, you know, clearly the, the, the folks who did this are trying to do, to make something artistic and pretty subtle. Um, you know, getting back to that whole thing about the, a lot of it is, is um, expressed here through just facial expressions. That's awesome. We need more of this. It's extremely rare in anime to get things that are trying to be artistic in this way. So I'm very glad they did it. I'm, I'm glad it's out there. Um, so those are my views on Black Rock Shooter. And, you know, like I said, I was impressed with it. It has, it's a bumpy, but that's okay. Um, if you want to watch Black Rock Shooter, please stop by streamsuki.com, which is a site I operate that looks uh, around the web for legal streams. So in case it drops legally somewhere, you'll be able to find it there. Uh, otherwise, if you want to talk about Black Rock Shooter or other interesting anime or manga, please stop by my website at otakunovideo.net. Would love to dig deeper with you about this and other subjects there. So please do. Thank you for watching, and I hope to hear from you soon. And until then, uh, yes, that's right. Actually, I do work for NASA.